And the next thing I'm going to do is go back over to my layers palette, or sorry, my layers uh, panel here, tap that little icon and go ahead and duplicate this layer. And then I'm going to select white and that's all F's. And so that is white, which is great. And I'm just going to drop it on top there so that it fills that upper layer. Now, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. If you're just after a very thin outline, you can stop right here because the way Procreate and a lot of drawing tools actually, even Photoshop work this way, with that black on the bottom that's been duplicated um, with a color on top, the black pixels on the bottom, the initial layer here that you created, um, will be slightly bigger and show up. That's just how the pixels work and how the tool works. It's kind of cool. So you can take advantage of that for a very, very thin line. But we're going to make a nice thick line. So, okay. We're going to go back down to the layer below, the black layer, and we're going to duplicate that three times. So slide it slightly to the left and tap duplicate. Okay. Now I'm going to work in a clockwise fashion. So this will be top, right, bottom, and left. I'm not going to rename them. I just wanted to tell you what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do with that top layer selected, I'm going to tap my move and scale tool here and I'm going to tap five times above that center dot there. One, two, three, four, five. And that moves my, um, my shape up just a little bit. Then I'm going to come over to this one and I've decided that's going to be left. I'm working counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, the same number of taps. And then we've got bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and you're going to stop here at five with these and combine these because if you go too much over that, then the line starts to look a little bit weird. So you want to combine these and start fresh with the combined shape. So let's go ahead and do that. So in layers, we can, uh, with this bottom layer selected, we can gently slide these and let them drop and they'll select them too. And then we can tap the tops. Oh well tap this top layer, uh, merge down, do it again. Actually, if I do this, maybe I can do this now. Let's see. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. It doesn't like to do that. Okay. So just merge down all of them, or you can grab them and squeeze them together uh, and that'll merge them together. Okay. So now with this new layer, that's a little bit thicker, we can create three duplicates. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. Again, top, right, bottom, left. So without top one selected, move and scale tool. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. So one of the reasons I like doing this method to get a nice thick line like this is that I don't have to contend with blurry edges that then I have to sort of mask and play with to um, sort of manage. Um, so uh, this, this method I like a lot because of the nice sharp line that I wind up with. Okay, so that looks really great. Okay, so we've got a nice thick line. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and select and pinch these all together. Whoops, I'm never very good at this. Okay, there we go. Pinch those together. Perfect. Okay, so now I want to actually, here, let's make this invisible for a second. I want to take out the, the, um, the white part that is above so that all I have is an outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this layer, the, the white layer, and then I'm going to um, select the word select, and then come back to my layers here select the layer that's black, go over to the wrench and select add and cut. Okay. And now it will have cut out the joy, <laughs> cutting out the joy. That sounds terrible. Um, okay. So if I make that top layer invisible, you see just the outline. So now you can either fill this whole layer or you can put something underneath it, something over the top of it. Um, um, you have a lot of versatility here. So let's go ahead and put a nice color into it. Why not? So, okay, that red looks pretty good. Actually, maybe the blue. I like the blue. Okay. So, uh, with this layer selected, I can just dump the color right into it like that. And you can see that outline really shows up well. It's awesome. And it's a nice, nice sharp edge there. And I just really like that.